family have been here about 90 years, so it's an ongoing family farm. I took it over from my grandparents. Coming back home to farm was always something I wanted to do, so it's been wonderful to be able to achieve that. What started the business was we had some old varieties that we grew in the garden that people liked. We were growing commercial potatoes at the time. We stopped growing those and we went complete cold turkey and started from one acre again and built the business back up again, growing old varieties that have all these wonderful textures, flavour, history that we loved. And we got a real buzz out of the customers enjoying them as much as we enjoyed growing them and supplying them. We grow mixed crops, so as well as growing our heritage varieties of potatoes, we also grow wheat and organic crops. A typical day starts quite early, about six o'clock. It's quite varied. We plan the day, liaising with the inside team as to what they want to sell, so we have the potatoes ready. And then just managing whatever comes in the day, because it's, it's, it never goes to plan. There's always something, a curveball comes around the corner. Communication is the most enjoyable part. We have direct contact with our customers, so we talk non-stop. All about the, the way that they use and cook the heritage potatoes, and it's just wonderful. We're learning all the time as well. Growing the old variety of potatoes is, is great because they all have different colours of foliage, they have different coloured flowers. Yeah, that's a real pleasure. The most challenging part for me will also be exactly the same that was the most enjoyable part. It's growing the old varieties because they're not as robust as the modern varieties. They don't yield as much. So there's a lot that can go wrong. The sustainability, obviously the main one in the world is water. We have probes in the soil so that we can measure the amount of water in the soil and see how much our plant is using. And we can look at the forecast and see whether well, rain coming, therefore we don't need to irrigate. So that's a very sustainable use of water. And then we have grass and wildflowers, pollen and nectar mixes, wild bird cover. So all that sustainable wildlife around the farm as well. To receive external recognition and credibility from a highly respected producer such as Gaganau rubs off very well on us and hopefully gives the customers confidence of what we're trying to achieve. I think it's important to support artisan businesses because particularly for us we're bringing back varieties that have been forgotten. What we're doing is unique and we're not a big business, we're a very small business, especially at the moment with Covid it's, it's been challenging. With this kind of award it therefore means that these small businesses, artisan producers don't get forgotten.